So the Reynolds Scholarship is open to North Carolina residents. It is a four-year scholarship that provides students $8,000 a year um, in tuition and fee help for UNCG. Um, scholars also receive a $2,500 stipend to study abroad and $1,250 to do a community service project, $1,250 to do an internship. So all told it's over $37,000 worth of scholarship money um, for residents of North Carolina uh, to enter into UNCG their first year. Catherine Smith Reynolds was an alumna of UNCG back when it was the state normal and industrial school. So she was never able to complete her studies at the school then, which later became UNCG because of a typhoid outbreak. So she wound up completing her university studies at a different university in Virginia, but she always had a warm place in her heart for what later became UNCG because of what she learned while she was here. the most important thing is um, that we are trying to instill a kind of global sensibility, um, a kind of um, a capacity and, and further interest in understanding who we are and what we're doing as part of a global community. And one of the things that I've helped to bring in is, an, is innovative methodology, pedagogy, which in some ways helps students become better at shaping their environments. Because as I see it, basically either you're being shaped by your environment or you're shaping it. And it's probably more true that we're somewhere in between that. So how do we create, again, to go back to the, the issue of developmental learning environments, how do we create environments where everybody can grow and everybody can develop and, and learn? So that's what we do at the Honors College here at UNCG. And Lloyd International Honors College is a very important part, the international part, because we really do want to see our students grow as global citizens. She also built um, a very beautiful home near Winston-Salem, which she called Rinalda, uh, and worked with the architect to design it to really maximize um, the safety, health, and educational aspects of the place where she was living. So she was very, very careful about the way that she gave back to her community and making sure that um, she understood uh, she understood very well that she was very lucky and that she had um, many blessings in her life and was very careful to make sure that everyone around her benefited from that. So she's a wonderful model for our Reynolds scholars to follow, but throughout her life she demonstrated a really remarkable dedication to service and to the betterment of the lives of others, primarily through empowering them to seek out education. So she's a wonderful model for our Reynolds scholars to follow. She was passionate about education, she was passionate about about progressive methods of bettering people's lives and that's really what we're looking for in our students as well, people who want to make a difference in the world. I think at UNCG we expect all of our students to push themselves. I think that one of the benefits of being in the Honors College is that I think the faculty relate to you as an honor student, as really somebody who's going to succeed. And I think that that's a benefit um, that honors college students have, is that they're related to as if they're going to go somewhere. They are so aware of what goes on in the world, what goes on in their community, and they work really hard to strike that right balance between paying attention to all of those areas of their lives that are pulling them. But they're so excited to talk about it, and that's what keeps me inspired every day when we have our meetings every semester. You can do it, right? Of course you can do it. You got it, right? It's that kind of attitude that helps people kind of take things to another level. And so we want to instill that for sure in the Honors College, but we also want that to in some ways be contagious. And I think that a lot of our programming, a lot of our workshops are, very, are open to everybody because we want to kind of create that culture of developmental learning and um, and uh, across the campus.
I love hearing about what they're doing, um, the great classes that they're taking, uh, the new community partner that they found. These are students that I would want to be working for, you know, that I want to send out into the workplace because I know they're going to be articulate, they're going to have interesting things to say about what's going on in the world, and they're going to be really hard workers. The people are beautiful. Like, we're the most diverse campus in the UNC system. And I think that part of the diversity is not just sort of visual diversity, but the kinds of backgrounds that people have socioeconomically in terms of their abilities. All kinds of ways that people are different. We relate to our undergraduate students as if they're going to become the next best thing ever. Come to UNCG! Wait, let me say, I don't know if the microphone is that good. Yeah, that's fine. You need to come! 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 Come!